So today I am cleaning Phoenix's mane and turning him in from a messy boy into a very handsome clean boy. He likes to roll around in his wood shavings and get twigs all in his hair. So while his hair is dry, I'll take each braid, unravel it, and brush it out from bottom to top. And doing it dry as opposed to with conditioner in it, it just helps the twigs and the wood shavings to fall out better. And once I do one side, I'll flip it over to the other side and I'll get the underneath. And he really likes this part because it's kind of like a neck massage. You can see him getting into it. <laughs> After that, I'll put him in the shower stall and I'll wet him down. He's really happy about that. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and just squirt diluted shampoo from the bottle. It's just easier that way. Um, not straight up shampoo and he really likes this part because I kind of scratch on his neck and then after I do the middle section I'll focus on the roots of his hair and that's where a lot of the dirt is concentrated so I'll actually use a curry comb and sprinkle water on it throughout just to loosen all that dirt otherwise it's just stuck in there and I'll flip it over to the other side do the roots from the other side and look at that bottom lip. He really enjoys that. Then I will clean off all the soap on his side and I'll wash the shampoo out and with one hand I'll squeegee, the other hand wet, just gets the shampoo out more efficiently. Do my purple shampoo to get it all white and it still looks yellow. Um, <laughs> but it'll look better in sunlight. And then conditioner, brush it out. And then I'll wash about 90% of the conditioner out. It's a rogue curry comb. Um, and then the little bit of conditioner left helps it braid easier. And I'll just do some four stranded braids. And I've got some gold and black. Go Hawkeyes. And then rinse the rest of that conditioner out and really make sure I get all the shampoo and conditioner off of his neck. Otherwise that can be itchy. Now he's wet. And I'll fly spray him down and squeegee him off. Now the best part, taking him on a walk. And he gets to graze a little bit. I didn't do his forelock today because, well, he's just starting to lose his patience. So I'll do that another day, as well as his tail. And right now it's about 102 degrees out. It's been over 100 degrees for well over two months every single day. So unfortunately after this, he's gonna have to go back in his stall where the fan and misters are. That way he doesn't overheat. And that's it, that's the process.